All right, kids, I got a bedtime story for you, my Easter story. This happened back in North Carolina when I was visiting with my parents and family with my cousins who lived in North Carolina. And my older cousin, Gene, he was one year older than me. And we both wanted rabbits for Easter. You know, we wanted rabbits really bad. We had let our parents know we want rabbits. And like, we're going to get rabbits because the Easter Bunny is going to bring us rabbits, right? We thought it was a cool idea. Why not? They have rabbits at Easter. You eat chocolate rabbits. We usually ate the ears uh, for some reason and ate left the rest of it. And those little marshmallow chicks, I didn't care for those too much. But the basket we would get on Easter morning would be full of candy and stuff and a few presents, you know, like yo-yos and stuff and uh, polo bolo paddles, <laughs> polo battles, whatever the hell they're called, bolo battle, but bolo paddles. And we would... Uh, you know, thank the Easter rabbit who brought it because we were taught there was an Easter rabbit. He brought eggs, too, for some reason and hide the eggs on us. And we had to chase, run around and find those. And we'd be all dressed up in new clothes, of course, and this, you know, collar that would be choking you with a clip on tie. You had to have your shoes all buffed and shiny and go off with a haircut to Easter with these stiff clothes that were scratchy. I hated that. I, I really didn't like Easter that much, except for the candy. And so that year we thought we were going to hit the jackpot and get rabbits. So come out, you know, Easter morning, kind of like on Christmas, they, they wait and wait, hold the kids back. Then we get to come out and see what the Easter Bunny brought us. We believed in it. And there, but lo and behold, there were two rabbits in a cage. We were just flipping out going, my God, we got rabbits. And so I go over to check my rabbit out. And all of a sudden, my mom and my aunt come over and say, wait a second, Benny, Benny, uh, that, that's not your rabbit. That's your cousin's brother, Dennis. I had two cousins. And said, uh, that's Gene and Dennis get the rabbits, not you. And I said, what? What? That's my rabbit. And I started throwing a tantrum. I mean, I was really upset. I was, you know, probably eight or nine years old. I started bawling and crying and throwing a fit and screaming. And I want that rabbit. That's my rabbit. It's my rabbit. And, you know, I was one of these little uh, selfish little uh, spoiled kids, you know, baby boomers, TV generation. They just thought everything's supposed to be given to me, that it's all about me. And I could not understand. All day, you know, I was bitter. Why isn't that rabbit mine? I want to take that rabbit home. It's my rabbit. He brought it to me. It's like they couldn't. It took a long time to convince me. No, it's actually Dennis's rabbit, and it's staying here. And we're not bringing the rabbit home with us back to Georgia. So it was a long ride back to Georgia in that car. And eventually I did get over the rabbit, and I decided... Probably it wouldn't have been that much fun having a rabbit because I would have had to take care of it and feed it and clean up all its little pellets that it poops out. And so, you know, all's well that ends well. That was one of those Easter's I'll never forget.